A consumer alert tonight. Fans of the local chicken restaurant Fusakli should watch their bank accounts tonight. The chain has announced hackers made off with customers' debit and credit card information during a data breach affecting stores from Mobile County to Pensacola. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live tonight in Baldwin County. And Corey, you found out a lot of folks are already reporting fraudulent charges. Well, Greg, many of the people I spoke to say they saw fraudulent charges after eating at Fusakli's, and the business says every branch has been affected. If you've ever been to Fusakli's, this view is likely no surprise. The fried chicken chain is a popular choice for locals looking for a meal, but now those patrons are being warned to keep a close eye on their bank accounts. Today, the Fusakli CEO posted this notice on social media warning customers of a data breach after their computer vending system containing debit and credit card numbers was hacked with a malicious program. My daughter-in-law actually, you know, shared the, the post on Facebook today and said that this is what's happening with Fusakli. I bet this is what happened with our cards. Stacy Sutter says the business credit account she shares with her daughter-in-law and another family member was hit three separate times after they visited the Fusaklis and Sims. The last two times, Sutter says, was for charges of several hundred dollars in South Florida. We love Fusaklis and we go there all the time, but that's the only place I very seldom use that card, and that's the only place that we've all three been. And she's not alone. On the Facebook post, folks from across the viewing area reported similar fraudulent charges after eating at Foo locations in Mobile and Baldwin counties, as well as in Pensacola. Fusaklis also released dates of locations affected beginning on March 25th and ranging until August 23rd. Sutter says luckily her bank caught the fraudulent charges, but there are likely still people who aren't aware. They probably don't even know that that's what's caused the problem. Check your cards and be aware. Now, Fusakli said they apologize for the issue and they are working with federal investigators and a cybersecurity firm to identify the person or persons responsible. Reporting live, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.